couple of weeks ago, uh, Dave Powers on the forum was asking us to come up with some kind of a, a method for him to slow his F-35 down coming in for landings. It tends to sail quite a bit when you're coming in for a landing. So what I came up with was the braking system where I've got the V-tails and flaps working together. You can see the flaps go down about 40% mix on the flaps. The V-tails are 100%. And I use the elevons there to control the pitch of the plane as it's coming in. This brings the plane in nice and slow but with full control. What I'd like to do next though is to separate the uh, flaps and right now I've got the links set up. I've got one servo connecting both the elevons and the ailerons. I've got the ailerons moving half throw so you can see the uh, control arm has uh, one of the uh, control rods halfway down that's for the ailerons. The other one is all the way at the end of the control arm that's for the elevons. What I'll do is add an extra servo here and then put the flaps on separate so I can hopefully get full flaps Bring it in nice and slow, full details, and have full movement of the elevons there. But the main thing I'm looking for is control. So after last night's video, I went and I separated the control surfaces. I added extra servos on for the uh, elevons. And with these uh, flexible control rods, I was able to just move those down to the new servos really easy. Didn't even have to break any glue joints there on the sleeves. Um, so what I have now are every surface moving independently. I've got the uh, ailerons and elevons mixed together on roll. I've got only the uh, elevons on elevator channel. I've got the rudders working as rudders. And then the DX8 is great when it comes to its uh, flap setting. When I flip the switch for flaps, I'm able to get a down angle on the flaps, but also it allows you to mix in an up angle on the elevons. So in, on the other setup, when I flipped on the flap switch, the nose dropped dramatically and I had to bring it up really quick with the elevator channel because they were linked. The two surfaces were linked. Well, on this one, I'm going to be able to keep the uh, flaps down and the elevons are coming up to counteract the flaps. And at the same time, I've got the air brakes on the rudders. So hopefully this will give me... Uh, a flap setting that will not cause the nose to drop when I activate it and at the same time I will have full control over the plane as I'm coming in for my nice slow landing. Even the rudders are working well. So tomorrow I'll be taking this to the field weather permitting and we'll give it a good test and hopefully this is something that Dave will be able to use on his plane to bring it in nice and slow.